Okay, Lee, I'm going to go to the, oops, I have to get into Photoshop. I'm going to the window menu and choosing actions. Actually, you can, you can see I've already got that palette open. So up in the little tiny box in the right corner of actions, I'm going to choose new action. Example for Lee. I'm going to set a function key. That's so that um, this is how you get the one the one keystroke is by check selecting your function key. I'm going to click record, and you see this little red button. That means it's recording. So now I'm going to I'm going to do this with the mouse. I actually usually do it. Uh, with keystrokes, but I'm going to open an, a new file. I'm going to call it example for Lee. Doesn't really matter to me. Oh yeah, um, Sean said he uses, I think he says he does 600 by 600, uh, resolution 300. Um, I'm going to leave it RGB. If you wanted this to be printed, you would go to CMYK probably. And do do background color white. So I'm gonna click OK. There's my workspace. Now I'm going to go window layers. I guess my layers, yeah, my layers window is open. Sorry about that. Um, new layer and you can see you can also open a layer with command shift n i'm on a mac so uh, i hope this maps to a pc if you're on a pc so this is um uh black I, i'm not remembering offhand what sean called his layers um, command shift n another layer is going to be color Command Shift N. Another layer is going to be Sketch. So you can see I've got all those layers here. Um, there's a way to order them. I'm not sure what order Sean had them in. You can just draw to get that or drag to get the order. And what else did he do? Well, you get the general idea. If you want something else to happen, when you open a file, you you do that, and then you stop recording the action right here, and you've got your action. So now on my Mac, on my laptop, let's close this file. Save. Um, okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to hit Function F12. Well, that doesn't work for me. I set this up, um, function F12 isn't going to work on my, my Mac because it's mapped to something else. I forgot that. But you choose a, a keystroke that's going to work for you. And if you happen to be on a Mac, I'll show you how you do that. Go to System Preferences, and I think it's Keyboard, Keyboard Shortcuts. Um, do, do, do. Here, show dashboard. I'm going to turn that off so F12 doesn't take me to the dashboard anymore. And now, function F12 in Photoshop ought to get me what I want. It doesn't. So I don't know how to solve that for you, but hopefully you've got the idea. And Sean, of course, could do this a whole lot better than I can. Stop.